Hi guys, just uh, here's a demo of these lights that we're, we're talking about. So, um, we've got these lights here on the back. We'll do these first and I'll show you the back. So, the first one we'll turn is to turn the bright whites on. Um, turn the whites on. So, this is just for when we're reversing or it gets a bit widespread anyway. So, um, I'll turn these on anyway, have a look at them, and I'll also flick a switch that changes colours from white to orange. As you can see, two different colours, um, just if we're setting up the camping, uh, fairly hot, lots of bugs, I'll put it to orange, um, and just uh, not so bright, uh, but if I need to see a fair bit in reversing or behind me, I've got the options of uh, doing the white as well. Uh, we'll go around and have a look at the front, and we'll go from there. So let's just start on that, that's the first one, so what we've got here is we've got the headlights only and the ute, that's it. And we'll turn, so that's just headlights. We're going to turn the um, fog lights or um, on, which are in the bull bar. We'll turn them on now. So you get a little bit more wider spread outside, but, um, and that's it. I'll turn the uh, HIDs on, uh, IPF HIDs. Um, they'll get a little bit more distance for us. As you can see, we've got the HIDs on, the uh, older style. Uh, they take a little bit of time to warm up, but uh, once they warm up, they give us a bit better distance, which is uh, I'm really happy with on the road, but we just lose a bit more of a, a width out, out the side um, that I'd like. And now I'll turn the uh, light bar on as well. And as you see, that's the light bar in white. And uh, it gives a lot better wider spread is what I'm after, which is exactly uh, why I got it. In, um, with that and the driving lights, I'm really happy with. Uh, I will change it to the uh, amber, um, orange. I'll do that right now so we can have a look at that. As you can see, we've got that amber as well if we need to, but we'll only use it when um, without the IPFs, uh, if it's foggy or rainy. So you wouldn't want to use the IPFs anyway, a bit more glare. Um, so what I'll do is I'll uh, turn the IPFs on. Uh, I've got the switch wired up, so I don't need any high beams on with these LEDs as well. So it's a three-way switch. I'll turn the headlights off and uh, we'll just put the LED light on just to show you a little bit of a, a distancing with them. So that's just orange uh, LED light bar on the front, all the parkers and lights and everything are turned off, that's just the orange light itself only. And now I'll change it to the white only.
So that's just the white LED light, shining only. Um, I've been, and we'll have a look at that now. So I've got it installed above my roof. Uh, the glare's not that bad on, on, on the actual bonnet. Uh, it's just like daylight really. Um, the sun hitting it, there's no difference during the day. Uh, it does light, does lighten the cab up a bit more. Um, as you can see, it looks a lot of glare on the, on that ball bar, um, on the bonnet there, sorry. Uh, but it's actually not too bad. I don't see for myself, for me anyway. Uh, it's no different than uh, a clear 30 degree day and the sun blaring. Um, there, there's no difference in that. Uh, what I'll do is um, we'll change it to amber or orange. Some people would call it, we'll call it orange anyway. And there's orange there. So um, that's just for fogginess, as you can see. Um, yeah, well, well, it gives you an example of uh, if it was uh, pretty bad weather, you don't want white anyway in fog, so that gives me the options as well. And it's not too bad um, to see, so it gives me options in that way there. All right, as you can see, it's pitch dark out there. Uh, camera's left in the same spot. We're gonna use the rear lights um, on white first, and we'll have a look at, uh, it gives you a bit of an idea uh, of the spread and distance just for the white, the little back uh, lights, which are uh, seven inch. As you can tell, uh, fair bit of spread out there, um, especially to the uh, right and left. Um, as you can see, the camera's just uh, probably doesn't get the whole view um, to sort of see. But um, as you can see, I'm way out here, as way as over near the shed there. As you can see, that's a fair range there, uh, widespread, and uh, it's not bad out of a, uh, a seven inch uh, LED light. I'll uh, put it to orange and we can have a look at that. As you can see, it's a lot duller, um, but it's still workable light, especially if I had to set up my camper just there, um, or we just uh, need to see what we're doing and we don't have the uh, irritation of bugs. Uh, and uh, yeah, it gives me the option of, of that as well. So as you can see, I'll swing around to the same. So the distance, the distance to the right and left is uh, shorter and you can only just see that shed in the distance, but with the white that was lit up and you could, you could see that really well. Yeah, struggle to see that shed. Um, and the trucks in the distance, you can't really see much. Um, it's only just there, so. Um, yeah, so that gives you a bit of an idea, but I'm uh, very happy with, this, with uh, the light bar setups um, and uh, pretty good value for money. Uh, for what, for what I got and what I'm going to use it for, I'm really happy with it. So uh, that's just a bit of a review on the auto feel uh, light bar, seven inch on the back, and uh, 44 quad row LED light bar on the front of my Ute. So uh, I'm very happy with it. Um, that gives you a bit of an idea. Camera's not the best uh, to give you the true reading, but um, it gives you a rough idea anyway. And and uh, with combination of the LED light bar and the IPFs on the front, HRDs, uh, I'm really happy with that on the roads. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get a bit of an idea on the road as well, have a look.